This is a piece I wrote for tonight, and it's entitled A Miserable Night at the Theatre. And whilst I hope you're having a wonderful night at the theatre, I hope you will be able to relate to it somehow. A Miserable Night at the Theatre. I thought Les Mis, the film, was super. Directed by that man, Tom Hooper. Uh, it's one of the best I've ever seen, with a cast including Wolverine. So then I thought, perhaps I'll go and see Les Mis, the West End show. I booked a seat for 60 quid. And behind that more expenses head, if you thought 60 pounds was heavy, Add the restoration levy, and the cost to ride the tube, and pre-theatre dinner food, and the programme, and the drinks, and the cost of theatre really stinks. But then again, you lot should know, you paid ten quid for a talent show. <laughs> but once you're there, it's quite a treat, if you can find your folding seat. And if you sit at 7.10, you'll soon be standing up again. Swivel. <laughs> Swivel. Oh, stand. Sit. Watch out for the handbag hit. Swivel. Swivel. Oh, coming through. Uh, it's only 7.22. <laughs> Swivel. Swivel. Ow, I don't care. Now it's 7.30. There. The house lights. Dim. The curtains wait. Here's more people coming late. The show is waiting to begin. Swivel, swivel, get them in. <laughs> Any more? Thank goodness, no. <laughs> Conductor, we are good to go. The orchestra begin to play, but then my program slips away underneath the seat in front, which causes me to heave and grunt, reach forward, bang, and oh my gosh, this tiny seat is such a squash. The man next door's an armrest hogger, and the girl beside's a constant blogger, tap, tap, tapping on her phone. That armrest, sir, is not your own. Her screen illuminates the place. Your manners are a sheer disgrace. So much for 24601. He's 2460 flipping gone. Keep calm. Keep calm. I know, I know. At the end of the day, it's just a show. I dreamed a dream that's now been spoiled. And I wish they'd both been Susan Boyled. <laughs> now, let's move on Why clean the slate. But then a voice says, excuse me, mate. Oh, here's another come to spoil it. Squeezing by to reach the toilet. Because your bladder's gone astray, I miss the entrance of Thenardier. When he returns, nine years have passed. Swivel, swivel, he's the last. Of that, Javert begins to sing about the stars, but, well, here's the thing. Beneath his booming baritone, the faintest hum of a mobile phone. <laughs> louder. Louder. Louder ring, drowning out the people sing. Louder, louder, louder still. She won't. Oh, yes, she will. She takes the call. She takes the call. She has the goal to take the call. I cannot let this moment pass, so my laser eyes <laughs> are on the last. The usher strike with stark precision. I hope they make some small incision, inserting her some etiquette. And uh, now we are on Rue Plumette. No, Plume, Plume, it's Rue Plume. And the intervals one song away. With cheers they fly the flag about. Oh, the lights come up. Oh, hell breaks out. People racing for the lose. Which flavor of ice cream should I choose? <laughs> Rope chop chirp. Swivel, swivel. All conversations are to dribble. And yet I listen to their chat. Twenty minutes gone. With that, curtain up. Phew. Oh, my own. I wish I'd stayed at home alone, for nothing had prepared me for the latest sound, the sound of war.
first. Crinkle. <laughs> then another. Soon I knew I want to smother the girl who bought herself some treats. A great big crinkly bag of sweets. She pulled and pulled but couldn't budge the seal upon this bag of fudge. I willed and willed and willed her on. I even called for Jean Valjean to help her break into the bag. And when she did, my shoulders sagged. For when I saw the sweets, I snapped. Each was individually wrapped. <laughs> crinkle, crinkle, munch, chew. At this I started turning blue and red and white and in between. And I missed the death of Eponine. I was raging fit to burst. The phone was bad, but this, the worst. I was mouthing at the foam, with Valjean screaming, bring him home. A voice behind me, hardly low, said, he's not as good as Alfie Bo. <laughs> right, that's it. Please don't compare the best Valjean and best Javert. Crinkle, crinkle. Oh my gosh, you have ruined the death of Paul Gavroche. What's that smell now? Someone own up. Ring, 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 please shut the phone up! Don't you dare swivel, crinkle! I don't care if you need to tinkle. My despair, I cannot hide. Javert has committed suicide because of how you've been tonight. Frankly, you are quite a sight. This is a theatre, and I'd expect a little bit of due respect for the cast and crew who entertain, night on night, refrain, refrain. And if you can't control your actions, I think you'll find there will be factions of the audience who'll go and watch instead a different show. One that's shown upon a screen. Come now, please don't think me mean, but empty tables, empty chairs, empty theatres, Let's see who cares. I think it's time we changed our habits. Don't be late like late white rabbits. Open sweets before a show. Keep your voices less than low. Switch off your phone. Switch on your heart. These are the things you can do for a start, because if you don't, that's it from me. I'll stay at home with a DVD. But that would be sad, because nothing compares to real Valjeans and real Javert's. The life of live theatre, it's in our hands. The curtain falls, the audience stands. Thank you.